Okay, so I'm here to help everyone out so they can use your computer on DraftKings and FanDuel and everything. Basically, there's two issues I've seen a lot of people have. One, they they download this plugin, right? They download this plugin and then it still shows up like you didn't download anything. And basically, the issue for that is the service isn't working. And you can you can check this out by if you hit the start button here, just type in services. And then we're going to go to services. In this case, I didn't install it yet. But you will see under here, it'll be play. You'll look for play. And I'll show you what it looks like once I install it here. So we're going to install the geolocation right here where it pops up. One of the things you'll probably want to do is run that as administrator. Um, for my intensive purposes, it doesn't matter because I'm already it's already here. So now that we added it, refresh the page. You can see that it is indeed running. If it's not running, I will show you how to fix that in a moment. You see, it's going to go through here, and it's not going to realize that. Um, you can't find my location. Now you'll see some people tell you that you need a Wi-Fi connection. You don't. Uh, in my case here, it's not going to work because I am using uh, VMware, which is a virtual machine. It's going to show. It's going to say to disable VMware. But one of the things you need to do is go in here in the settings. You'll hit the little gear here, settings, or you can type in settings. We'll open that up. Open the privacy tab. And in the location tab right here, you want to make sure this is turned on. You just hit change right here. Make sure that's on. And that should automatically turn these on. Make sure that's on too. You don't need these on. You can keep those off or you know, keep them on if you want, if you want to know the weather in your area or whatever. Um, and the second step you want to do, I don't think it's necessary, but uh, I like to just not worry about it. Click the little site setting here. You can go to site settings. And this should work in any browser. You'll go to the location and then there's always allow. And that's for DraftKings right here. And when you do that, you'll see as much as like this in any browser saying that you changed it to reload. Um, that's not gonna work for me. Like I said, I'm using VMware. But that might those simple steps might fix it for you. Now, the step here that fixed it for me is to find out if your DNS is set wonky. So we have to go here, type in CMD. It's going to open a command prompt. And now we're just simply type IP config, it's IP C O N F I G slash all. That's going to show you right here DNS servers. Right now I have a set to Google. What my problem was, is it was prioritizing IPv6 over that. I'll explain how to get here in a second. But just so you can see what it would look like, if I take off IPv4, run this command again, you'll see it like this. If your DNS servers come up like this, this is your issue. This is what you need to change. So to change that, you'll type in control panel. Start typing control, hit control panel. And I already have it open, so it's going to pop up over here. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Just close that out. You go to Network and Internet and Network and Sharing Center. And then you'll see this lovely window right here. Click on your connection. This opens up the status page. Click Properties. And now you'll follow the list here. Make sure, obviously, your IV, both of these should be open for you. What you'll do is uncheck IPv6. Hit OK. Hit close. Now you'll see it should look good after you run a flush DNS. IP config and slash, and then you want to do flush DNS. Just like that. Hit enter. You'll see messages like that. If you don't, you mistyped. So just make sure you, you type it back. And you can press up twice to go back to IP config all, or you can just type it out. Now you'll see 
that is back to the IPv4 numbers that you want. And in that scenario, your service should now run. That was the issue for me. When my service was stuck, it stopped. I would get an error. Uh, this might be rare for people, but it happened to me. It was really annoying. But I work in IT, so I knew what to do. So the other thing to look out for is the location of this program is over in Program Files. Go to C Drive, Program Files 86. You'll see Geo Comply and Player Location Check. And these are the files. So um, if you go to Application, you can see this is the service it runs off of. If you're curious how this works, basically this is a this is a command, a bat file that actually runs. You can see the process that it takes. It will um, look for the look for the service to be there, and if it's there, it's good. If it's not, it will try to create that service and then set the parameters for it, and then it tries to start it. But the unfortunate thing there is it doesn't actually show you if it fails to start. It won't show you that it failed to start, so you won't even know. You'll just go back to the website here, and it'll just show you that you need to reinstall it. So check your services to see if it's even running. If it's not, check your DNS, see that. Um, and then also disable anything you might have here. You have to make sure that one, your VPN is not turned on. If you use a VPN like NordVPN or Windscribe or something, make sure those are off. Uh, make sure the location is set here. Um, and yeah, your DNS. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this helped you out. Um, and I hope I was right to the point there. I don't like to do very much rambling. I like to go and tell you exactly where to go and what to do. So feel free to give me a follow or a like, subscribe, um, and I'll catch you in the next one.